lot of these, if it, yeah, this is labeled down here. I, I'm used to being in the cemetery during the day, and we're here so much, it kind of get used to it, but when you come out here at night and you start seeing different things, it kind of gets to you sometimes. Mainly I've just heard stuff. Maybe it was just my mind messing with me, pretty sure, but again, it's pitch, pitch black out and you, your mind kind of wanders. So you're just like, hey, was that it? God, I hope not. <laughs> After being on a casket team for so long, it's, it's nice to kind of see it come to a closing so that, you know, family members who have been having issues with this actually finally get that settlement of it being done, so. It's nice. It's making me feel like I have to come to all the individual. The ultimate goal is to make sure that um, all of the records match what's out on the ground in the cemetery. And that means that every headstone uh, because the headstones have, uh, may have multiple sets of remains from different family members. So we want to make sure that all the burial records match the headstones and that uh, they're in the, the correct locations. You can see uh, right there, you know, everything in green means it's, it's an occupied spot. Uh, if it's black, it means it's obstructed. If it's white, it's available. And uh, anything with red text has been uh, uh, changed. The status has been changed in some way or the numbering updated. And that's based on walking row by row and checking all of the numbers. It's a uh, big um, change dramatically. Oh, well, in Iraq we were going on missions every day. Now we're taking photos every day. Another one. At first, I was, I was, I was a little, you know, just um, kind of sad a little bit. But um, you know, it's, it's just part of the mission, and just, just continue the mission, you know. It's kind of surreal, I guess. Uh, it's going from one extreme to the next. Uh, it's kind of peaceful out here, nice and quiet. <laughs>